everybody, this is your boy Rocky, and we're about to do a live unboxing. Let me give you a couple minutes to get every to get people in here, and we're gonna we're gonna get started. We're not gonna keep you long. We got a number of orders to fill. We got a sale going on, and so uh, it's it's crazy around here. So we need to go ahead and get you guys um, uh, straightened out. But I did want to unbox these new um, products that we had in stock. While I'm on, you know, I always like to make sure I get my share on. You doing that? Or I'm doing it, Keith. Yeah. All right. I'm live on Slow Burn Mobile Cigar Lounge on Facebook. Just give us a minute. We about to do a live unboxing. Live unboxing. We got a few items. We don't have that many items. We, we have some really good stuff. Right? We don't have a lot of items. We got some oldies. Some stuff we have had that we're replenishing. Some stuff that we uh, been waiting on for a while to get back in stock that that the uh, Got depleted really, really, really quick. All right. All right, look who I got in the office with me today. Y'all see her back there. She's been, I don't know if she made the last live, but no. I know she missed a couple, she's missed a couple of them. And so she's back in the building. We don't have a Keisha cam up today, so I apologize for that. No. We do not have the Keisha cam. But yeah, man, it's been pretty busy around here. We've been getting a lot of stuff done. And also, man, we've been replenishing a lot of stuff that has been out of stock, man. I don't know what's going on in, in uh, the cigar world, but there's a lot of stuff on uh, back order, a lot of stuff that's hard to find. There's a huge conference was it not a conference? What would, would it be called? What would it be called that's happening here? Yeah, the, the expo. But it's it's not open to the public. It's for a vendor. It's a vendor event only. So I know when people are waiting to release a lot of those specialty items and a lot of, a lot of new stuff. But in the meantime, we need to get our hands on that old stuff, that stuff that we know you like. All right. If you're ready for us to do the unboxing, if you're ready, give me type one. Type one, if you're ready to see these items, type one. If you're ready, if you're ready, type one. What's up, JL? What's going on, my brother? Good, to, always good to see you. On the live. Oh, man, you really did it this time, Keisha. What? You really did it. All right, so first off, let me get started. Let me get started over here. We'll first bring up something we've already had. I'll bring up something we've already had. This is the Trinidad Espiritu Series 1. What is it again? The Trinidad Espiritu <laughs> Series 1. Great stick, highly recommended. However, we've had this before. What we haven't had is the Series 2. And let me turn it around. That's more Brazilian. This is a more of a Brazilian, this has a more of a Brazilian flavor pro profile that uh, the cocoa and the espresso is going to be really prominent in the, uh, in, the, in the flavor profile. So... This, again, we've already had this one, remember? We've already had the Series 1. Now we have the Series 2. What size are these? Both in the Toro. This is a 6x54. A pretty good size Toro. So, that's cool. All right. I'm going to show that one last right there. This is the one I'm going to show last. Because that's the one I'm most excited about. That's the one I'm excited about there. In your hand. In your hand. In my hand. Yeah. That one. Oh, baby, I can't show that to him on, on the camera. Anyway. Anyway. Definitely that type of All right, we'll take we'll we'll bring this one up. This is the next one. This is a Nica Libre from Aganorsa. This is our first Aganorsa brand product that we're bringing online. 
uh, we have they have a collaboration with Room One Hundred One or somebody. I think we have in, but uh, but but am I making it up? I think they we have a product that they, they collab with. Anyway, but this is from Aganorta, which is a great, great uh, cigar brand, uh, and uh, they also grow tobacco. They, you know, they've been been in the business a long time. Uh, they grow the tobacco for it, the Illusioni brand. So if you guys are interested in some really great tobacco, really great stick, this is the Nicolibre. From Agonosa Leaf. I highly recommend it. I can't wait to sample this product myself. I've been waiting. All right. I've been waiting. Anticipating. And this is one that Keisha has been asking me about, asking me to do research on, asking me to make sure that I knew, knew about it um, before we go live. And I absolutely didn't do anything. Did not? No. Wow. Didn't do anything. This is the Island Gym. Well, this is the Island Gym from Oscar Valderes. I, re I read a small promotional article about it, how uh, it, is a, um, it is a great stick. It took the cigar community by waves, and that uh, it is a top-notch stick. What? What do you mean? That's uh, the number two. Cigar of the year? No. What? No. Oh, this is oh, it's called the number two. It's the Island Gym number two. number two. So do your research. You know we'll have some information. We'll have a description on the website. This website is at slowburnwaco.com. You can get all these products and so much more on slowburnwaco.com. No, nah, but I didn't Don't do my research. But the Island Gym is a critically acclaimed cigar in the cigar community. And so this is the Island Gym number two. Y'all tell me what you think about it. And this is from Oscar Valderez. And this is our first Oscar Valderez stick, too. Isn't it? Uh, the Leaf is our first. Oh, the Leaf, yeah. Anybody who knows about the Leaf, the Leaf is an amazing stick. So, boom. All right, and that is... I think we didn't... didn't. The, that is the Island Gym. The island look it up at all. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right, now this is the stick that I've been waiting for, man. I've been waiting for us to get this stick. Everybody knows what my favorite cigar is. Everybody knows my favorite cigar. What is it? If you know my favorite cigar, type one. Type one if you know my favorite cigar. Type one. Anyway, and this product was blended by a person who had a hand in blending my favorite cigar. This cigar had a, the person who blended this cigar, the owner of this company, had a hand in blending my favorite cigar. With no further ado, with no further ado, his name is Steve Saka, for those of you all who know. Steve Saka and uh, I forget, this is the, uh, it's like the, bon it's, it's the, uh, I forget the name of this, is the cigar company, it's like the Bomb Guard, oh, Dunbarton Tobacco Company. But this is the Micarita. The what? The Micarita. 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 It's like my side chick, my girlfriend. My, yeah, this is my Micarita. I've been, I'm going to open one of these. I'm going to open this. You're going to get the look in the box on this one. I've had this cigar. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've been to a few lounges. I went on different websites, spoke to many distributors, and we hadn't had been able to get our hands on it. So you did all that on that one, and I asked you specifically about the island gym, and you just said no. You had already done the research, man. Ain't no use of both of us being research. <laughs> you the research department. I'm the smoking department. Anyway. I'm the testing department. I'm the lab rat department. So yeah, this is the Mikarita. 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 
Garita. Me Garita. My side chick in Spanish, according to Keisha. I don't know. My side chick. You said side chick. In my case, it's my wife. <laughs> anyway, I need it. Can you give me you? Let me use your blade. So this is the Mikarita. Like I say, I've had this sit, stick. It was a really good smoke. Um, for those of you all who don't know, my favorite stick is the Liga Provider number no. nine. They say this has a similar flavor profile. I didn't catch that, but it was an amazing smoke, though. It was an amazing smoke. But I didn't get this, I didn't really get that it was that close to the legal provider number nine legal provider number nine has its own distinct flavor profile so what uh, made that one so good um it was, was um it had a very it was one of those sticks that had a full flavor it was a full flavored cigar got those hints of cocoa and espresso that i love like so much mm -hmm. a hint of leather but it had that you know you got plumes of smoke and it had a Silky smooth finish, very little aftertaste, very little bitterness. It's just great, well aged tobacco. That's all I can tell. Like yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> that good, silky smooth, well aged tobacco. All right, yeah, yeah. Now, I got a couple of things that are not cigars that I do want to show you guys. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and we got some more. We had to get some more. Devil's weed. Y'all been buying this shit like crazy. Crazy. Like, y'all been going bananas over this. Crazy. I, I smoked, I smoked a couple of them and I thought they were okay. <laughs> but the, our customers are going bananas out for them. If you want to know why they going bananas, I don't have any idea why they going bananas. But I've had, like I said, we got. We got. Okay. Couple of those we, we got. And then I got one different one to try. We got. And we got. This is a new one right here. This is the first. Okay, so. Devil's Weed's first cigar was this Ecuadorian Connecticut. That's their first cigar. Then they came out with this one here. The Red Devil. Again, we got this one on sale now. It is the Ecuadorian Connecticut. We don't sell a lot of Connecticut shade wrappers. However, um, there are, they say in the cigar community, Connecticut's are the best-selling cigar I can't say that. in the community. That's not been our. That hadn't been our experience. <laughs> that hadn't been our experience in the business. Our, you know. Now, again, we don't carry a ton of Connecticut either. So, but the Connecticut we have, we keep it. <laughs> so, we brought on this. This is a really good stick. This is a budget smoke. Uh, this is also a budget smoke as well. I strongly suggest you go to slowburnwaco.com. Look up the Red Devil. Look up the, uh, the uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut from Devil's Weed. At the price of these sticks, is well worth giving it a try. Absolutely. It's well worth giving it a try. You know, if it, if it doesn't work out, you hadn't lost, you hadn't spent much money at all. And you can, if you buy two or three of them, you can put them in your buddy buddy box if you don't like them. But there are guys that absolutely love this stick, man. Love this stick. Then took over as their favorite stick for whatever reason. Like I say, <laughs> it is, it's, it, I smoked it. It's not flavored, but it is infused. And it now is. How, how do you, how is that a thing? Is it flavored? Is it 
flavored is, is only if you can taste it directly on your Fla tongue. Yeah, flavor, no, flavored is when you smoke the tobacco, you can taste the flavor of it. You know what I mean? Okay. The when you when you say it's infused, you really just catch the aroma of it. The essence, like the, the yeah yeah the aroma of. It. So, we also got some really cool lighters. Some really cool lighters. Torches. People have been at, torches. I'm sorry. People have been asking asking us to uh, have some torches, and we uh we got a few of them. Really uh. Really good quality. This is a Vertigo torch. Anybody knows about Vertigo? They're a really good brand, and we brought them in so you could get a, 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 a deep, so you could get a decent torch for under twenty bucks. That would that. Yeah, yeah. I wanted you to be able to get a decent torch for under twenty bucks. Now, did, uh, and so we got several of these, and then we got some. We have some more expensive torches as well. This is also from Vertigo. This is a more expensive torch. And uh, I'm a lighter collector, and I love lighters. And so a lighter like this is very dependable. A torch like this is very dependable. won't let you down. That's still under $20. Um, it's 19 dollars Okay. Whatever. I didn't, I didn't price none of this stuff, so I don't know. I, well, I'm telling you. Yeah. So, this is, so you can get a great, a great Vertigo torch for $19.99. You can't you can't beat that with a stick, and guess what? On these Vertigo torch, this one torch, it has a punch on the end of it, so you'll be able to punch your cigar with that end and light it with this end. You'll only need one when you go out to smoke. You'll only need one item. Hey um, Marcel, how are you, sir? You'll only need one item. <laughs> and like I say, we didn't get a whole lot of again. I don't like carrying accessories, as people probably already heard me say a thousand times. I don't like carrying accessories. However, I do know our customers need accessories in order to smoke cigars. And so we want to have some for those people who want to um, buy their accessories from us. We don't want to carry a whole bunch of lighters and a whole bunch of accessories. but. We do want to carry a few so that you can, so if you want to, um, you can light up and smoke. So, all right. Um, last but not least. Now, if you want one of these. It's only right? one. It's only one. It's only one? All the others were on back order? No, I'm talking about this. This. Oh. So I just bought two. Alright, somebody's already ordered one of them. So, and this is a great deal. This is a great deal. And we're going to show it. I'm going to show it to you. Alright? And then I'm going to pack it back up. But this is something that everybody needs. Once you get in the cigar game, I suggest this is the size that you start with when you go out and get a humidor. When you go out and get a humidor, your first humidor, right? Don't go out and spend all that money, $200, $300 trying to get a humidor. Get you a really good humidor. Get you a really good humidor. Look at it. It has the outdoor. It has the, it has the hydrometer right there. This one has a glass case where you can look and see the condition of your cigars. This is definitely what you need to get started. And I think you can get this cigar, this humidor here for under 50 bucks. And it holds, I, don't, I know it holds 50 to 75 cigars. I know that. But anyway, this is a great humidor, a great humidor for somebody that is just getting started. Even if, even if, even if you're not just getting started, if you don't want to stockpile like some people, some guys do, stockpile cigars. But if you want to make sure you have, have you know, always have some on hand to smoke, this is that. This is a great humidor. Absolutely perfect humidor, in my opinion. And for the price, 
And oh yeah, for the price you can't beat it. For the okay. price you can't beat it. I said it's under. I think it's fifty or under. I, I don't. I don't really. How much is it? It's um, $45. It's $45. Oh, yeah. She got it a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> See, it's $45 for that, for that humidor that I just pulled out. $45. Bucks. So, great deal. Great deal. And that's $45. Of course, you have to pay shipping. And uh, that's it. All right. We have some customers come in. We're going to wrap this up. Much love to everybody who stayed on with us. Go ahead and place your, though, oh, here I got to put this up before I go so that you guys can get a chance to get in on, the, on this really great deal that's going on. Well, anyway, we got a special going on through our text list. It's a special on our text list. All right, I'll do it for you. We got a special going on on our text list. Text. Take slow burn, all one word, S-L-O-W-B-U-R-N, to 78894. That's 78894. Much love. And we out.